What's up, Sushi Lords family? Namaste and greeting from Sushi Man Santos. Today I'm gonna teach you very simple and easy sushi recipe at your home. I'm gonna teach you one, two, three, four, five, six easy homemade sushi recipe. The video will be a little bit long, but after watching this video, I'm pretty sure this video will be really fruitful for all of my Sushi Lords family. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's start from the how to make sushi rice. Okay, first of all, I have here the short grain sushi rice. 850 gram. Now I'm gonna put here. The always uh, throw out the first and second water very quick because of the bacteria. Now I'll wash just a little bit and throw the first and second water very quick. Okay, let's go again. That's the second water. Wash very carefully and softly, gently. Give just a little bit massage to the rice, so all the white things, all the milk from the rice will come out easily. Okay, as you can see here, the water is clean, we don't have the milk water, so this is good. I'll take all the water. That's my sushi rice cooker, that's a solo cooking rice cooker, now I'm gonna put all the rice here. Now I'm using equal quantity of the rice. For example, I'm using here 850 gram sushi rice and also 850 ml water. Now I'm gonna wait till 15 to 20 minutes. Then after I'm gonna put in the rice cooker. Now I'm gonna put this on the rice cooker and gonna start to cook, okay? Let's put it here, close the cover and let's start to cook. Okay, Sushi Lords family, to make the six types of sushi, first of all, we need to make the preparation of the vegetables. I already put the sushi rice on the rice cooker. After 15-20 minutes, I'll take out the rice and I'm gonna mix it with the vinegar. Now I have here the avocado. What kinds of ingredients you need? That's the lima, lemon, here's the mango, and here's the cucumber. I'm going to use also carrot as well. Let's start to make the preparation, okay? First of all, I'm gonna cut the cucumber. If you want to see how to cut the cucumber in a proper way in a detailed video, you can check link on my description box I'm gonna put there. But here we can cut very easily, okay? I'm gonna cut this side, that will go garbage. I'm gonna cut in the three of four finger because the three of four finger will be a half of the nori in a whole seaweed, in a whole nori, it will be like this. So I'm gonna cut three of four finger, okay? Three of four finger. Yes, that is also free of four fingers, so I'm going to use this one for the any kinds of decorations. Yes, like this. It became a seems like a flowers. I'll put here. Now I'm gonna cut this ones here. I'm gonna teach very simple and easy way, okay? First of all, we can cut the small, so it will be easy to secure it here. And now I'm gonna cut a small slice. It will go garbage. And now in the small slice, okay? Thin stuff. We can cut till the seeds came, okay? Yes, now the seeds is coming. Now I'll stuff here. It will go garbage. Now I can cut like this. Now we can cut very thin stripe to put the sushi rolls like this. Yes. 
this. That's our cucumber for the sushi roll. Now I'm gonna put in the basket. I'll take out and I'm gonna put here, nice. That is the first easy way. I'm gonna show you the katsuramuki techniques also. I love to use the katsuramuki techniques. I'm gonna cut like this. But if you are trying the first times, you don't need to be worried because you need more practice to cut perfectly this katsuramuki, okay? Nice. Now, these ones I can use for the any kinds of decorations and this will be a, this will be our, this cucumber will be our inside the sushi rolls, okay? Yes. Both are looks like same, but I love to cut katsuramuki techniques. This is also not bad. Yeah. Also, you can cut if you, if you like. You can cut a little bit more thicker also. But I love to cut like this, this type. Uh, so it will be easy to grab and it will be easy to put inside the sushi roll. Okay, let's cut the carrot. Check out this ones. And carrot also free of forefinger. Yes, like this. Now I'm gonna fill this one with filler so it will be easy. Now I'll cut in one side the small stripe and so it will be easy to secure so it, it cannot move okay. Now I'll cut a small slice as much as you can make a little bit thin. I'll join all of this and I'm gonna cut in a small thin stripe, okay? Let's put on the basket. Yes, here's the cucumber, here is the carrot. Now I'm gonna cut the mango, okay? Mango, I'm not going to use all of these ones to make the sushi today. So I'm going to cut just half, okay? First of all, I'm gonna peel Now I'll cut that side so it will be easy to put down put down like this. Now I'll cut in half small stripe. Yes, that's it. I'll make the equal sides. Now I will make the small step, okay? Yes. It looks like this ones. So it will be easy to put inside the sushi roll. I'm gonna put on the basket. Avocado, uh, I love to cut on the hour. If I cut now, it will start to be a black. So I have to put the lemon. So I don't like to use after putting in the bucket. I already cut the mango, cucumber and the carrots. My sister loves family. That is the cibolino in Portuguese we call cibolino. It's uh, onion chips. And if you have the little bit more thick, it's called spring onion. Now I'm gonna do the fine job, okay? When you are cutting the onion chips, don't cut your finger. If you don't have that kind of skills, you can try at your home. And when you are cutting, always put finger like this. Not some, lots of people are cutting like this, no. If you cut like this, you can cut your finger. So always secure your finger and you can put, you can, you can make like this. Look, now put the finger on the things you start to cut the blade will toss the finger side here like this now you can see here the blade is tossing here also you can cut like this but i don't like that that is the western 
holding it stuck. So I lock the cord the top resistance. So up and down. Okay, I think my rice is almost ready. Uh, I can put hand here. Yes, I don't feel any heat. I don't feel any pressure. So let's open. Let's go. Wow, nice. Now I'm gonna mix with vinegar. I already make the vinegar here. If you want to see how to make this kinds of sushi rice vinegar, you can check link on my description box. To mix the rice, I have that kinds of bucket, plastic bucket. Now I will take out the rice. My rice is ready. Yes. Now put here. Yes, that's a good. Firstly, I'll take out this layer. That is a little bit hard. So the first layer I'm gonna take out. This rice, no need to throw, we can eat. But when the rice will be uh, cool down, like it's, it's, it's remain seems like a ball. So I don't want to use this hard part. I'm going to use for the another purpose. Let's make like this. Just wait a little bit. The temperature, it's now it's 100 degrees Celsius. Yeah, if it's temperature come 85 degrees Celsius, it will grab well, it will absorb the vinegar very well. So, just wait a little bit time. Okay, that's the sushi rice vinegar. I'm using here 280 ml, that means one third of uncooked sushi rice. Yes, I'm use here, just I'm gonna mix it. Try to break down all the hard part of the rice. Even if you don't have that kind of bucket, you can use the uh, uh, small bucket also, no problem. Yeah, this is we are making the sushi at home. So if you have the flat one, it will be easy because the rice sushi rice will be uh, cooled down very well and easily. Now I'm gonna mix another ones. Now you can make one thing, it's very important. Now you mix very well. You break down all the ball of rice. Now one thing is very important. We have to do one thing. That's the important thing is we have to fan it now. We have to give the wine so rice cannot be overcooked. And another thing is sterilizing process of the vinegar will be absorbed very well by the rice. So the bacteria, when you are making the sushi with fish, it will kill the bacteria, it will prevent the bacteria and parasite also. Now I'm giving the fan, I'm using that, that things because I don't have the fans in my home, so no need to be worried. If you have something, you can give the fan, okay? And I'm going to mix again. Yeah, after it becomes warm, it's no need to be a too much um, cold, okay? It should be a warm. If you make the sushi with warm rice, the taste will be really good if you make the sushi the same as like your body temperature it will be a perfect taste okay now i'm going to use this towel so sushi rice cannot be dry okay nice you can see here every sushi rice every grains of the rice is shining yes shining very good so rice is the most important things when you are making the sushi lots of people think the fish and vegetables should be a fresh no if you make the perfect rice, your sushi will be really good. That means the rice is the heart of sushi. Now, most famous sushi have told, they are saying 60 to 70% taste of the sushi contains by the rice. So rice, we have to be careful. We have to be a more patient to make the rice. We have to give the love. We have to give the respect to make the rice, sushi rice, okay? Because that's the heart of sushi. My rice is done. I'm gonna put another bucket. Yes, Sushi Lord's family. That is the salmon. That is the upper part of salmon. That means the here is the head. That is the middle part and here will be tail part. Now I'm going to fillet it. To prepare these salmon, you need that kind of tweezer and one knife. If you don't have that kind of Yana Ziva knife, no need to be worried. You can use a safe knife also, okay? Now I'm going to fillet it. Softly and gently, nice. Yes, 
that's our one fillet. That's the middle bones. For the sushi, that part is the, for the sashimi. And we can, that, that is the belly part, we can use whatever we want. For we can make the nigiri, we can make the bunkan, we can make the top of the sushi rolls for the dragon sushi rolls. Any kinds of things, okay? And now I'm gonna clean this part. Now I'm gonna clean the belly bones, as you can see here. Try to cut less meat, as much as you can, less meat, okay? Yes. Nice. So very good salmon that is the because you can see here that's the really good fattiness of the salmons now I'm gonna cut I'm gonna separate this from here that's the oh sorry I forget to take out the spines pin bones I'm sorry yeah now we'll check out the pin bones one two and three okay let's go here yes but okay that is the important things which part we gonna use for what okay that's the important things how to cut salmon for sushi that the sashim part i'm gonna take out okay i'll i'm cut just lit just a little bit here i'm not uh, cutting the skins now i'm putting the knife here and softly yes now i'm going to cut from this side because here is the lots of tender this lots of tender that is the middle part so i'm not going to use for this one so this one so we can use for the tataki for the hand roll for the fried items now i'm gonna cut this ones here now i'll take the belly part okay yes that's the good that is the fatty things of the salmons nice that's it i can use another ones also same as like that ones now i'm gonna teach you i'm gonna show you how to cut the things okay how to cut the salmons for the gunkan for the nigiri for the uh, sashimi today i'm not going to show you i'm going to show you rolls nigiri and gunkans i'm gonna wash it then after we're gonna use these ones okay now i'm gonna teach you i'm gonna show you how to wrap bamboo mat okay first of all you need to be a film plastic that kinds of film plastic now i'm gonna check out this ones a little bit long like this that's the bamboo mat let's put that side not put like this that side otherwise it cannot be we cannot fold it now let's put here leave same size that side and that side also now let's fold it wrap it by the plastic till middle now take out this ones and cast like this and also cast like this now fold it yes let's wrap it again the most important questions will come in your minds is that how many times we need to fold it's depend on you normally seven six seven times it's enough i fall already four times and five 
and six. That's enough for me. Yeah. Now the important thing is I love to close all the this pin plastic on the shiny side of the bamboo mat. I'm gonna cut it here. I'm leaving here almost three finger, so it will be easy to fold here. Look at it here, nice. It's now fold it. I'm gonna make the little bit set so the ear will come out. Now I'm going to fold that that plastic on the sign side. Why I will tell you at last when I'm going to make the sushi rolls. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, I'll take the all the ear from the bamboo mat. Now I'm gonna fold it. yes now i'll fold a little bit here then i'm gonna poke just two two times or three times so the all the ear will come out our sushi bamboo mat is ready to work i already cut the cucumber as you can see in this video i called it already cut the mango and carrot and i prepared the salmons here is the salmon belly part and that's the salmon sausage part also and i have here a crab stick i'm going to use crab stick also and i have here the avocado i have here the lemons lima and here is the fine chop spring onion now i'm gonna teach you six easy sushi recipe how to make sushi at home like a pro you can make sushi at your home like a restaurant and the most important things today i'm not going to use the gloves one of my sushi lovers family already commented in my video uh, what kinds of gloves we need to use why uh, my sushi rice is sticky on the gloves he is saying that one but because of their gloves normally uh, when i work in the restaurants i use the gloves especially for the sushi so the, this gloves can really stick in the sushi rice i'll show you okay just wait how i can say it's a it's a vinyl vinyl the important thing is the vinyl latex vinyl types of the gloves in my restaurants i'm using that kinds of gloves to make the sushi roll that's gloves cannot stick in the rice i'll show you okay as you can see here that's the sushi rice i'm putting here yes it's not sticky but today if you don't have that kinds of gloves i'm gonna show you with hand okay it's called teju teju means equal quantity of water and vinegar that is the vinegar yes now it's become a teju so if you are working in sushi rice if you are taking the sushi rice or you are cutting the fish you have to put the hand here and make the waiting so it will prevent the bacteria the importance of teju is that it will prevent the bacteria the japanese people don't like use the gloves that's the nori suet i'm gonna break it one of my sushi lovers family is asking me nori seaweed size is different or not normally i don't know in other country in portugal and i also work in the denmark also but in europe we all have same as like that that kinds of seaweed for the uramaki and for the california roll for the osumaki we will use half of the nori for example i'm gonna break it in half yes that's we can use for the for the uramaki and also maki we'll use that kind of nori for the futomaki i will use whole seaweed okay first of all i'm gonna prepare salmon for the osomaki okay it's just i'll cut here nice wow it's very good normally for the tira i use that kind of size for example because of the nori it seems like that ones Nuri is also same as like that one as you can see here look nice and also that is same as like that one it's good now i'm gonna cut this side so i'm making all the equal sides you need also one wet towel so you can clean your hand you can you can clean your chopping board you can clean your knife okay let's start to make the osomaki the important things always use the teju to make the your hand weighty okay now i'll take out the one seaweed nori seaweed also have the rough side and sign side sign side will be outside and the rough side in the on the top of the rough side we will use the rice sushi rice again now i'll use the just little bit rice as you can see here 
Normally, lots of people are asking me how much sushi rice we have to put on the wasomaki. It's depend on your restaurant's uh, menu, it's depend on your price, it's depend on your market value. Normally, uh, I love to use 60 to 70 grams sushi rice for the wasomaki. Now, I, I'm, I'm putting the sushi rice on the middle of the seaweed. Now, I'm gonna gently separate it. Till here, you, we have to leave one finger here. Softly and gently. Normally Japanese people use the wasabi here. If you want to, to use wasabi, here you can use. Now I'm gonna put the my tira of the salmons. Yes, in the middle. Now my nori seaweed, I will put just a little bit here. I leave for one finger here. And I'm, I'm gonna leave one finger here for the sushi rolling techniques. One finger here. Now I will roll it, okay? That's the important things. Lots of people are confusing in that techniques. Just take out the bamboo mat. Softly and gently, the bamboo tip will come on the toss, come to toss the seaweed and rice also. Look like this ones. Like this now, fold it again. That's it. Our hosomaki roll is ready. Now I'm gonna teach you how to cut hosomaki, okay? Normally in Japan, they will cut in the six piece. In Europe, we will cut eight piece. Always use the water to make the weight you eat. So it will be easy and it will your rice cannot be sticky on the knife. I'm gonna cut in the half, in the middle. I love to put knife in between of two finger. Some people cut like this, it's okay. But I'm not used to, to cut like this. I will cut like this, nice. Three struck, three struck, sorry. One, two, three. Clean your knife. Always, again, put on the teju. Now I'm gonna cut in the, you can cut like in the middle and middle and middle. So it will be eight pieces, but I'm not used to it this one. So I'll, I'll cut in randomly, okay? One, two, and three, four, yes. Now I'm going to do the plating for the Osomaki sushi roll. For the Osomaki sushi rolls, you can put like this normally, very simply, easy. That's it. Or I'm gonna teach you another way also. You can put just cross, little bit cross. Here, here and here. Like cross. That is the second easy way to make the plating you looks like very beautiful. And another way I'll teach you the separate it. Just a little bit. Yes, that is another way. If you don't like, you can put like this. Whatever you want, it's depend on you. But I love to use that technique, okay? Yes. Here is the ginger pickles. Also means the thin, thin sushi roll, which contains only one ingredient. That means inside the sushi roll, the alga, the alga will be outside, rice and the ingredients will be inside and which will contains only one ingredient. That means here is the sushi roll is containing the just only one ingredient, salmon. Let's go for the next roll. I'm gonna teach you Uramaki, California with salmon, avocado and cucumber. Again, I'll use the teju. And here is my seaweed. Make a little bit weight your hands. Take out the sushi rice. I'm taking almost 100 grams sushi rice. I'm going to put in the middle, then separate it very gently. Here I'm going to use just a little bit sesame for the extra level of aroma. Also you can use the onion chips as well. Let's use, let's go. So the color will be really good. That's it. Now I'm going to flip it. I'm putting all around the rice on the top of the seaweed. Let's flip it. I'll use just a little bit cucumber. Now I'll use the avocado.
I'm gonna cut a small slice. I'm going to put here like this. Now I'm going to put the salmon on the top. So the salmon will capture the, all the ingredients. Now let's roll it. Take the bamboo mat and roll it again. Here is our California sushi rolls. Now I will teach you how to cut. Firstly, same as like the osomaki, always make your knife wet with teju. Now I will cut in randomly. You can cut in the middle, middle, you, you can cut eight pieces. But I love to cut randomly. Let's see. Yes, I cut the four pieces. I'll try to make nine pieces. If you want, you can make the also eight pieces. Let's make again, clean your knife. Yes, I make the nine piece. Let's make the plating. For the uramaki, normally, when sushi chef is making or when sushi man is making the fillet for the clients, he will never think the client will be left-handed. He always think the right-handed. So we'll put the rolls like this, for example, like this. That means the right hand will take the sushi pieces. But you can put whatever you want. It's, you are making sushi at your home, so you don't need to be worried about it, about the plating. But I'm going to teach you two easy way, okay? One is crossway. I love to say that is the crossway like this so the client will see your customer will see here is the salmon avocado and cucumber now another way is the like this yes that's the one remaining i'm gonna put here that's our uramaki california with salmon avocado and cucumber that's the easy way one cross way and another is the easy way also we can do like this I'm gonna put this one here. Yes. Okay. I teach you here three types of the plating ideas for the uramaki. Now I'm going to put ginger pickles here. <laughs> for the colorness, I love to use the lemons. Like this. Our sushi plate is perfect now. That's our second sushi recipe. Now I will teach you how to make futomaki, okay? For the futomaki, we have to use the whole seaweed nori. I'm going to make, okay? I'll put here. Now I'll place the sushi rice. For the futomaki, means futo means fat. That means fat sushi roll which contains colorful ingredients. Equal quantity of sushi rice. So the flavor of the sushi will be all around the equals. Now I'm gonna use for the futomaki, I love to use the avocado and the mango and let's use the cucumber also then just a little bit sesame seeds and the crab stick now i'm gonna roll it the futomaki is one of the easy sushi roll because we are using the whole seaweed so it will be easy to close properly yes for the futomaki it will be easy to cut you don't need to bore it but make the weight your knife and cut randomly Here is our futomaki sushi roll. Okay, let's make the nigiri. To the nigiri, first of all, I love to use that's the belly part of the salmon for the nigiri. Normally for the nigiri, the belly part of the salmon is very good. So let's cut like this. Or we can cut like three, three, three finger of this one's belly part, like here. Now let's cut in three finger. This one so we can use for the bunkan sushi. I'm using always teju. That's the belly part, so I'm trimming a little bit. Yes. You can put your knife like this in crossway and you can cut 
the one way the 90 degree for example look like this and 90 degree again like this like this for the extra looks you can give the chunk here okay let's make the nigiri to make the nigiri first of all take the neta like this and take the small rice ball yes look like this now put on the middle give little bit squeeze here so the ear will go inside the rice like this now flip it softly and gently on the other hands now you can give the squeeze like this now i'm gonna make another ones let's see yes Yeah, that's all for nigiri. Like this. That's our nigiri. Now I'm gonna teach you the fifth sushi recipe, the gunkan sushi. Gunkan means the war boat. So we'll use almost three or five finger. Like this. I'm gonna cut this ones. And we will take out the small base slices, okay? The tiny slices like this. Uh, almost two finger yes yes two and three i'm going to make the three okay make a small ball like this it's depend on your restaurants menu and it's depend on you uh, it's depend on your uh, how big you wants to make okay normally 10 to 12 grams of rice is enough now Put the sushi rice on the middle. Now roll it. And make a small hole to put here on the top. Let's make another one, seems like that one. Yes. That's it. Now we will chop the little salmons to put on the top of this gunkan. Now we can put this chopped salmon on the top of this gunkan. Some people use the Philadelphia and some people use the Ikura also. It's depend on them. That's our gunkan sushi. That's our fifth sushi recipe. I love to use this ones for the gunkan sushi. Yes, that's our battle boat sushi. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show you the hand sushi rolls. Te means hand. So te maki. Te means hand. Maki means roll. That means hand roll. That means uh, it doesn't matter. Ki, you you have to make the concept. You can make hand roll like this. I'll show you, okay? Hand roll means you can put a little bit of rice here. Yes, you can put here salmons. Then you can put a little bit cucumber. It's depend on you what, what things you want to put. And just sesame seeds. Or cibole, you know, or onion seeds. It's depend on you. You can give like this. Yes. That's all kinds of hand roll. You can serve to the clients. Yes, you can take. These are all kinds of hand roll. First of all, I will make just a little bit salmon dice. Now, but I'm going to show you what kinds of hand roll we are making in our experience in our Europe especially, okay? It's called te maki. Te means hand, maki yes. means roll. I'll take the nori and I'll take the just a little bit sushi rice. You can put it on the corner. Now you can put the cucumber. You can put the mango, whatever you want. 
now you can put the salmons or tuna or whatever you want just a little bit sesame seeds and the onion chips now let's roll it in the cone shape the important things is here Uh, handle it's a cone safe handle in, in Japan usually they use in the party because if you eat one it's enough for you that's it it's a temaki for the gunkan for the topping we can use the cibolino onion chips on a spring onion this is our hosomaki thin sushi roll which contains only one ingredients and then after we made the Uramaki California with salmon with avocado and here is the futomaki with crab sticks, mango, avocado and cucumber and here is the our nigiri, belly part of the salmon, nigiri the sake and here is our gunkan, battle boot and the final one and last one is the temaki that's the all kinds of temaki and here is the concept temaki thank you so much for watching this video guys stay safe, stay healthy See you in the next video. Have a good day.